internet a show, honey. Um, so Cardi B hopped on live and uh, she's in Paris for Paris Fashion Week. And this is the first time that people have seen her out since the baby. So, you know, she already had the internet buzz and she gets on live and it starts off. She's having a conversation just about Offset in general and, and some of, I guess, the stuff that they're going through. Um, but while she's commenting, we're going to listen to the live. While she's talking, we're going to listen to the live. Offset comments on the live that she had had sex with somebody while she was pregnant. So it brought more people into the live. Let's take a listen to Cardi on live talking about Offset uh, and him being a narcissist. And you know what's so crazy? I really be feeling like when people be saying like narcissist, narcissist, narcissist and everything, I be like, do y'all even know what that word mean? But now I really do see what's a narcissist. You know what's so crazy? I find this so crazy, right? That a nigga think that they could just buy a bit. You know what I'm saying? I love me but you can buy you can buy me no more mother and I, and it's so crazy that I think that that's enough it's not enough honey it's just not enough and then cardi started to go into uh the fact that offset is according to her threatening court wars like she, he's starting to take stuff back um let's take a listen to that I think that they could on anything but when i when i start talking to me you want to play those games with me we're going to play them games, too. Since you want to f threat me, take, talking about you want to take my sh You want to take my sh because I'm moving on? Move on. Why can't you move on? It's no fun when, when, when mama got the gun, right? It's no fun when I'm slanging <laughs> right? Now, we, now we're going to court war, right? Get off my phone. I don't give a f I'm tired. So she's saying get off my phone because as she's on live, somebody is calling her repeatedly because mm -hmm. it keeps shutting the live off. Mm -hmm. But I, I I was very confused because I'm like, take your stuff. Cardi is like, she got money. She got bread. She could buy her own stuff. So I don't even know why that's like a conversation. But they probably got stuff together. You got to think like land and property and home, maybe businesses. Yeah. And she could get all that on her own if she wanted to. So I don't know. I would. I, OK, we're going to get into the conversation of, of, of just the argument in general. Mm -hmm. um, but then she continues. So then she starts talking about the fact that because now at this point, everybody on Twitter and, and, and the Internet is having a conversation about the fact that Offset has accused her of sleeping with someone while she was pregnant with his child. Um, so she goes into the having sex with the ops conversation. Let's take a look. I just want to let, I just want to let my know one good shit, right? I don't give a fuck if a talking about, oh, I'm going to expose you. Oh, I'm going to put them text messages that I saw through your phone. I don't give a fuck, I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> I don't care. You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, so one thing I'm not going to do to you ever is entertaining them your ops that be in my dms trying to suck my b i will never do that because the op to you is that want you dead and i don't want you dead because my kids love the out of you no i don't have to do that shit. i just gotta better than you it was a lot yesterday it was a lot a whole lot and it continued into the comments um they got into the comments and uh, she was talking about like, you know, to all set, like you keep calling me and you was blocked all weekend. You had to DM me. He's like, I already won. You my you the baby mom. Like it, it was a it was a whole it was lot. nasty. Yeah, I don't like seeing any of that play out over social media. Like, you know, these strangers don't need to be privy to any of that information. You know, call each other, meet up and curse each other out. Like, you know, y'all are adults with kids. Like have that convo amongst each other because I feel like when the emotions wear off, like uh, today, like the next day, mm -hmm. both of them got to regret airing each other out yeah. on social media. It, I, it, I, I, you just have to. Yeah, she said yesterday she wouldn't do it again and she was only doing this because she was responding to him and that, you know, she, she said the, the main reason responding that she, to, Oh, so he went, he went public I get, first? I guess he's he, been yeah. tweeting. So mm -hmm. he's been tweeting stuff um, and at... He his tweets were like earlier this week. He tweeted something. Um, I, I'll go in and find the tweets. But he he tweeted something that got the people going. He didn't say Cardi's name, but it's like you know we all know that they're going through whatever because it er, like you know mm -hmm. a few months ago there was a divorce filing. Um, so I guess something happened where she got fed up and she hopped on live and went off. And then his comment in the live. Mm -hmm. Accusing her of having sex with somebody while mm -hmm. pregnant did not make it any better. No, nah, didn't make she it any better. She started going off. Yeah. Yeah, stop, would, yeah, yeah. You gotta stop playing social media games with people you love. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, that's your that's your wife. That's and the that's mother what she of your said. child. She like, did, don't she, do that. She said, you know, he's a good dad. She said he's he's a great dad, but she said their relationship just is they're not together now. But what she did say was she's not gonna do this anymore. Not because of the family, because she said the next guy that she dates probably won't want to date her because she, she will be playing putting the up, internet games. <laughs> yeah, play, but she's been playing internet she, games so since she said we first she's met not her. Do it anymore, so she said she's not gonna do it. All anymore. Seth's tweets were um one of them was uh, a B gonna be a B and a hoe gonna be a hoe. 
uh, that was one of the tweets. So, you know, people picked that up and thought he was talking about Cardi. Yeah, don't, I, don't, don't play internet games with people you love, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like, you know, y'all still got a whole family to raise yeah. together. Yeah. I mean, they, like you said, they got three young kids with each other, so they got a long way to go. Now, uh, Diddy, back in the news, always again, happening again. TMZ is dropping this, um, like, documentary style thing that they do um, on Tubi. It's called The Downfall of Diddy. It covers all of the indictment. Now, in the, the, this documentary, his I attorney. Hate, I hate that, by the way. What? Because you only really get one side. You only get the side of, of the indictment. You you don't get the other side of anything. Diddy's attorney is in here. Oh, okay. Let me, he, he, let me bring he? that back I, I was surprised to see it. No, he's, he's in yeah, there. Yeah, so okay. Mark Agnafilio, um sat down with TMZ for this, and he talked talked about a bunch of stuff. So he talked about the baby oil explanation. They called them freak offs. But, you know, back when I was a kid in the late 70s, they were called threesomes. If these are genuinely threesomes, how do you explain a thousand bottles of baby oil? I don't know where the number a thousand came. The U.S. attorney said it. I can't imagine it's thousands. I mean, you know, <laughs> and, and I'm not really sure what the baby oil has to do with anything. They're essentially saying it's a lubricant for an orgy. I guess. I, I don't know what you need a thousand. One <laughs> bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I don't know what you need, need a thousand for. Jesus. I mean, right. he has a big house. He buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's and every place where he has a home. <laughs> I right. don't think it was oh a thousand. My I, think it was, I think it was, let, let's just say it's a lot. Baby. I, w- I wish I could possess people. I want to possess him in that moment and say, well, Harvey, it's a lot of buttholes out there that need lubing. Okay, those cheeks be chafed. <laughs> you but understand, I, don't you? But how the lawyer, he the one who told him it. You know, it's lubricant, so Harvey get it. But, okay? but, but how the lawyer gonna be like, I don't know why you need that many bottles. I mean, one bottle lasts a long way. Like, that shit's that's, that's honest, though. Well, I, like, I like the honesty. Because has anybody asked the federal agents why the baby oil and lubricant was pertinent to the story? And who counted the bottles of lubricant to know it was a thousand? Yo, if that was your job to count all of that. That's what I'm saying. Like... like Okay, we're going to move on because there's one more. I want to get this one more audio in. Um, so they also talk about the like the actual case and the trial when it happens, what's going to happen. And Diddy's attorney is saying that Diddy is going to testify and wants to testify on his own behalf. Let's take a listen. I, I, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. And I think he will tell every part of his story, including what you see on the video. So I expect it's gonna be explained by the both of us. He has his story, and he has a story that I think only he can tell in the way he can tell it in real time. And it's a human story, it's a story of love, it's a story of hurt, it's a story of heartbreak. I mean, when he describes that relationship, the word he uses more than any other word is heartbreak. Man, it sounds good with that music behind it, but I don't know, y'all, I'm a little nervous about Diddy getting on the stand. Shoot, I think he should take the stand. I never understand any of these cases when folks don't take the stand. If I was facing all these charges and I believed I was innocent, I'm taking the stand. Even if, you know, in in his situation, I think him taking the stand and telling the truth is a good thing because the truth don't need no defense, only witnesses. And I'm going to be, you know, my, my number one eyewitness in a situation like that. And I think he should take the stand and tell the truth. Talk about all your addictions. Talk about, you know, how the industry got, got the best of you. You know, talk about why you need all of the lube. But the the only problem with not you, a dry butthole in the building. Period. Stupid. The only problem is not with taking all. the stand is when you take the stand and you're getting cross examined. You have to make sure that your client can have a, a cool, calm composure that he's not uh, showing. You know, snapping back. He and, might and, not. He might cry. He might break down. But, but, but then, gonna need to see but a then there's we, a possibility we, that Diddy might snap back. That he might say something back. He might clap back or something. Yeah. Because everything we've been seeing, according to the prosecutors, with mm-hmm. the outreach to these witnesses or whatever, it's still given. I'm, it's bad boy, baby. You don't know who you talking to. He can't do that on the stand. No, he can't. Not with them. I'm sure they're going to have some of the witnesses. And, you know, I, I assume Cassie may take the stand, too. That's not confirmed. I'm just assuming that. But I also want to mention 50 Cent. He has his Diddy oil that he's been posting about. This isn't a real product. He's just being funny. Mm-hmm. But he has his documentary that he's going to be doing with Netflix as well, too. Uh, so that'll be coming as well. Take the stand, man. Take the stand and tell the truth. Straight up. Especially if you, a person like Diddy who claimed to be a man of faith. Right, who claim to believe in God the way he believes in God? I want to give take you this. the stand and tell the truth. I printed this diddy oil out for you. And then, and then it's how people what? What understand the truth, right? It's because somebody he might Ain't say no something. Understanding of the truth. It's not because people can take the truth differently. You can say something which means it. You know, we all know you can say. There's can only be, one way to take. I like buttholes. Okay. <laughs> We gone. Okay. Or what about begging the peg? Begging the peg. I was begging for a peg. You see? That'll, yeah, that'll hit harder than anything Johnny Cochran ever said in the courtroom. So, I guess, if so. the glove don't fit, it must have <laughs> quit. Oh. I was begging for a peg. That's what you would say on the stage? What? Man, please. That- if, he, if he go up there and admit all of that, come on now. Say it again. Come on now. Say it again. Shut up. 
You got it? Oh, up. you trying to see? That's what I'm saying. What? I mean, you trying to set him up? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to set him up. Yeah, because got Cause, it. Because uh, r- rhymes in the courtroom work. We <laughs> said, we, <laughs> they do. We've seen that. We saw that rhymes in the courtroom work. And don't nothing if hit don't, like if, that. If it if don't, don't fit, you must, must quit. quit. Well, see, but the things that would have pegged him could fit anywhere, depending on with the lubricant. Okay, let's now move on. We the understand. Thousand bottles. That's, now that's, that's, we get I, it. I don't okay. even want to get. It. I don't even want to admit. Like, all right, I'm, all right, okay. all right. Well, that was just with the mess with Lauren Rose. That's kind of crazy. No, no, I was talking. <laughs> oh, envy. That's not what we are on moving the stand. on. <laughs> on the we stand? are moving on. On the stand. Wow. No. Come on now. When we come, come back, now. we got on front page stand. news. <laughs> <laughs> More gonna be joining us, and then uh, country singer Mickey got into so don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.